right now i am in the microsoft 365 admin center and what we want to do is we want to go in the microsoft sapoints admin center so let me just go and click in here in the microsoft sapoints admin center so as you can see i am in the sapoint admin center now and the next thing what we want to do is we want to go into this active sites so let me go and click on it and we want to see the new uh, implementation or the new availability of the new uh, UI interface for the create a new site. So as you can see, I can select the site type when I am creating a site. This is already available, but there are some new options as browse more site, syntax content center and go to migration manager. Okay. so. The first thing what we can do is we can click on this team site and it will it will show us some of the available templates as the standard template which we generally see a by default template which is available which provides this type of teams activity teams news are available in here and also we can highlight the team content and resources just like this if i select this template and create this uh, it will have one home page included into it and the other thing is whatever existing page libraries and all the stuff which are available inside this tablet that can be accessed from the site content and we can delete it anytime so if you want don't want any of these items we can go and delete it from the site itself okay so there are a number of other templates available in this team site template team site creation for example if I scroll down, we see different type of templates. One of them is this training design team. So if I click on that, this is the training design team template. And what are the capabilities of this training design team is we can develop training opportunities, coordinate learning events, share and access documents, and promote news and announcements. Okay. So whatever things we are seeing on here is same. So the experience is little bit changed from the last time. So we need to provide name of our site. Let's say I'm giving it the name as a training site. Let me, let me go and change the spelling. Training site. Let me get training site. Yeah. And uh, this is the name. I am going to provide a name as training description design site actually. And then this is my site address if i want to change it i can change it and the group owner i am going to add myself as a group owner in this when i click next what it will do is it is going to read the site if i want to change the template i can do it as well so as you can see these are the uh, I, I want this uh, site to be available as a public or private whatever option I can select, I can select it, any language I want to change, like say I want to change any other, let's, let's stick to the English for now, but these are the different available language options for the site whenever we are creating a new site, okay, and the time zone, if I want to change the time zone or not, when I click on the create site, what it will do, it will go and start creating my site, and if I want to add some additional members, as a, as a member of my site, I can go and uh, add them in here as well. So let's wait for the site to be created. It's supplying the site templates. Okay, now it's done. So when I go and click on finish, what it will do is it will create the site. And as you see, the site has been created. Uh, it is available here in the recent actions. What I did was I have created this site that is a trading site. Okay, and the next thing what I want to do is uh, let's say not this window, it should be at the bottom in this case. So let me try to find it and uh, let me just scroll down at the bottom. Mm, yes, it should be here. Yeah, as you can see, the trading site has been created. When I click on this URL, it will open up the site and as you can see it has the same template that same uh the upcoming events uh, web part on the top and all the other things available these are all the dummy data basically and uh, if you want to update them if you want to remove them if you want to remove the site we all can do that okay 
So this is how we can use the new site template uh, for the new create site uh, UI experience, uh, which is very useful when we want to see how our site will look if we select any other of the templates. So as you can see, these are the different uh, events list is available, different site pages are available. There are two site pages available. One is learning team homepage. Another one is normal homepage. This learning team homepage is the homepage set for this site for now. And if you want to change, we can make the changes into it. Okay, this is the home page. And the next thing what we can do is uh, we can go into the uh, uh, sites and try to create one more site to see how the other templates are available. So the other type of template available is a communication site. The same way we have for the team site, the communication site also has its own templates available. There are crisis management, department, if you want to have some events, human resources, different type of sites can be created with these templates according to that need. For example, if you select this volunteer center template, then it has this type of design where we have this beautifully look purple design. If I go and click on use template and provide a site name and provide other details, then it will start creating the site same as that team site nothing new into that okay so i'm not going to create it for now because that's the same experience and how do we this uh, template will look is already been shown in the image and if i want to go and uh, so this is how the site will be created if i click on the create site okay and if i want to change the template i just need to go and select another template and then that site will be created with that using that template okay so this is how we can use this new user interface for the creating a site, which also shows the number of tablets available, right? And if our organization has already created any of the site tablets, like if we saved any site as a site tablet, that is also going to be visible in here. Okay, there are other options available. For example, browse, when I click on the browse on site, browse more site, it displays me team site, document center, enterprise wiki, publishing portal, content center, and more templates as I will see. If I go and click on the, let's say cancel, okay. And if I go and click on this team site, this is the old experience, the old UI which we see, but with some, some changes into that. If I select content center, this is the site I'm going to see as a tablet. Okay, uh, this is a Content center is something like site to create and build and manage document processing models. So if I create this site, it is going to have all of the things which requires for the uh, content center. The other thing is uh, this one. Uh, it's a migration manager. So now Separate Online is already providing the Serpent Admin Center is already providing a different type of migration available, ready to use. For example, if I want to move my data from file set, if I want to move my data from box to this airport online or string classics to this to this airport online or a Google workspace or a Dropbox or an Ignite, I can use and get started with these directly available migration manager tools. Or if I want to do it by myself, then I can use and download this airport migration tool, which is already available for this airport 2010, 13 and 16, and I can migrate my data from 7, 10, 13, and 16 to the SharePoint online. So, I hope you like this video. If you like the video, then please like, share, or comment on the video in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please subscribe. See you in the next video.